guys, my insanity transformation video is the most popular video on my channel and so I make sure that I answer every single comment on that video whether it be positive or negative or opinionated or whatever and I try to get back to as many questions as I can but because I get the same repeat questions daily I thought that I would make a video answering some of the most commonly asked questions. I have my list of questions right here. I'm going to start, get through them as quickly as possible. Um, if you want to see the Insanity video, I will put an annotation right here. I have also filmed a Insanity Nutrition video, which I will either get up before or after this video. But either way, I will put that link that somewhere in this video as well. Like this video if you want to see more um, questions about insanity. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And let's jump right into it. The first question I got the most, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because I mentioned it, if it's because I talk about it, but the first question is, is Shakeology necessary to get results? No. People do insanity without Shakeology all the time. However, for me, it was completely necessary because that was a time in my life when I was so exhausted and unhappy because I was so exhausted. So drinking Shakeology gave me an energy boost, energy boost, which is what made me to decide to do, jeez, I can't speak today, which is what made me decide to do insanity because I finally felt like I had enough energy to do something about myself, and I did. So for me, yes, it was completely worth it. For you, it may not be. But what's great about Shakeology and Insanity is that it gives you the proper nutrition that you need to do a program that is intense, as intense as Insanity and then also um, it helps kind of move progress along a little quicker. So most people, most coaches that do Insanity do drink Shakeology as well. Second question, will Insanity get rid of fat in my blank section? I put blank because I get questions all the time like, will it get rid of my belly? Will it slim down my legs? The answer is fat is fat. You could try to lose baby weight or trying to lose weight that you've carried your whole life. It works the same way for everybody. You have to burn fat, you have to get rid of fat in order for muscle to show through. You cannot spot um, target a certain location. So I can't tell you that doing insanity will slim out your legs, but it may. It's going to take fat from all over your body. You're burning calories, you're burning fat. So wherever your body takes that from, that's what insanity is going to do for you. For me, it did slim down my midsection tons and it did slim my legs. So definitely, you know, it won't target a certain area, but it'll overall just make you much better, much healthier and in shape. Will it reduce cellulite? It should help to reduce cellulite because all cellulite is is fat. I mean, it's stored in your fat. So when you're losing fat, the appearance of the appearance of cellulite is fading away a little bit. Doesn't mean it'll completely get rid of it, but it will definitely get you on the right track. Next question: Will it reduce my bust size? Again, you can't really control where your body is going to burn fat from. So you just might lose a little bit of your breasts, but that's just because you're losing weight and that's all that your breasts are is fat. That All of it is fat. So for me, I did lose probably like about half a cup size or a cup size. So yes, it did for me, but I also didn't have a ton of fat to lose. So if you're somebody who has a bit more fat to lose, you may lose it elsewhere and not in your bust. Did you do another program alongside Insanity? Okay, so every other program I've done, I've done in the morning or like at nap time, lunch time, and I've done um, the gym at night. But while I was doing Insanity, because it is so intense and takes so much out of your body, I didn't do anything else. I think in the two month period or the 63 day period, I, I wanna say that I pushed weights at the gym like four or five days. and. Those were really light. It was like just kind of, you know, keeping my muscle intact. It wasn't doing any kind of strict training whatsoever. I don't recommend doing anything else with insanity. It's very grueling on the body and you need time for your body to recover for the following workout. Did you get shin splints? Apparently a lot of people get shin splints. That is because you are wearing the wrong shoes. A lot of people think 
I'm just going to put on my running shoes and do insanity. Not good enough. It doesn't have the proper support, the proper padding. It doesn't fit your foot the right way. You have to go to a foot locker or somewhere that specializes in shoes and have them help coach you to the proper pair of shoes for a program like Insanity. I did not get shin splints because I got shoes specifically for a program like that. So yes, if you aren't wearing the proper gear, you can get some injuries. However, if you're wearing what you should be wearing, it is very unlikely that you're gonna get you know, an injury such as that. I definitely didn't. Where, oh, where, <sighs> where is so hot, guys? Were you sore the next day? Again, I was not. However, I am not you, and everybody's body is so different. I am the person who can squat 200 pounds on the squat machine and not be sore the next day, but that is just how my body works. I also fuel my body with the proper nutrients. I eat really clean. I drink my Shakeology. I drink recovery drinks. I drink protein. I eat protein. So, for me, someone who puts so much good in my body, it repairs quickly. However, if you are treating your body like crap, it's not going to repair properly and you are going to be really sore. And even if you are treating your body well, you might be really sore anyways because everybody has a different level of, I don't want to say pain tolerance because it's not pain tolerance. Like Some people just don't get sore like other people do. And you know, it kind of has pros and cons. Like people tell me you're so lucky you don't get sore, but at the same time, sometimes that leaves me thinking I didn't push hard enough because other times I do get sore. So it really just depends on the activity I guess that you're used to. How did you stay motivated? So again, I did a video on motivation. You can find that right here. But for me, you know, number one, I wanted to be fit and healthy for my kids and for myself. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to complete it because I'm very competitive and I like to challenge myself. So I wanted to complete the program and that motivated me. However, I'm also a fitness coach, so I knew that if I wanted to, you know, help other people, I needed to have a story myself and I needed to make it through a program and not give up. And I had a large following of people waiting to see my results. So that was motivation for me. I would say, you know, in terms of that, if you need that kind of motivation, then get an accountability coach or make a video on YouTube and allow people to follow your journey because when you have people following you, you are more likely to push through the entire program. And then the last question, did you cut out junk food altogether? I did not. I ate really well while I did Insanity. I ate like I do now, only I probably ate a little better than I do now. However, I did not deprive myself of things that I love. Even if they're not horrible for me, they may not have been in the Insanity regimen. But I ate them anyways because I made sure that I was pushing so hard through my workouts, giving it 100% intensity, so that if I had something that wasn't so great for me, it wasn't going to affect me because I was working so hard through the program. So those are the most asked questions that I received. But if you have any more questions, please post them below and I will be sure to answer you for sure. And if you have any other questions regarding insanity, please leave those as well and maybe we'll see another video on that. So I hope this helps and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!